I want to take a few minutes and discuss Title I and how that relates to the Reading Lab. So these are the questions I'm going to be answering in this short presentation. So Title I is, a, is the largest federally funded educational program, and its purpose is to provide supplemental funds to help meet the educational goals for at-risk students. At Webster, about 44% of the students are socioeconomically disadvantaged. The majority of the Title I funds right now go to support the Reading Lab staffing and materials and is described in the school plan for student achievement. So since the majority of Title I funds go to support the Reading Lab, I wanna share a little bit about what we do in the Reading Lab. First, you need to know that there are different stages of reading development. Students begin off in the first stage with what's called phonological awareness. Think of phonological as like a phone. We talk on a phone, we hear a phone. We aren't typically seeing the things that are going on on a phone, aside from text messages. So phonological awareness are, involves the sounds that the letters make. So if I were to say to a student, what word is this? D, A, G. The student would need to blend those sounds and say dog. The next one is alphabetic principle, and that's knowing the letters that make a sound. So knowing the names of the letters, the shape of the letter, and the sound of the letter. That comes after phonological awareness. Next, we have phonics, which is blending together sounds to make a word. When you get to phonics, you're dealing with actual letters. So the students would see the word cat, and then they would sound it out, k at, and say cat. Reading Lab focuses on those three aspects for the majority of the time. Next, you have comprehension, which is being able to answer and ask questions about what's read, and then vocabulary development. And with vocabulary, you're saying, based on what I'm reading, what does this word mean? And using the clues within the sentences to tell us the definition of the words. So what is the Reading Lab and what do we do? We provide targeted small group instruction on precise skills that the students need. We have four instructors that provide instru instruction to small groups that are between three and five students. We teach phonemic awareness, phonics, letters, and fluency. We use multi-sensory techniques, um, visual cues like a mat and colored pieces to represent letters, sand trays, Play-Doh, magnetic markers, highlighters, chalk, all of that is what we do when we're in person in Reading Lab. Doing this distance, we're gonna be using similar items, but it's gonna be done digitally. We use something called a feedback loop, which is where we have small groups. So if a student's not getting it, we have time that we can stop and we can repeat and repeat and repeat until the child gets it. We use a variety of curriculum and we do small group instructions for students who need um, listening, speaking, writing skills in English. And those are going to be our ELD groups that you've hear, heard me talk about earlier in this video. These are the various curriculums we use. Lots and lots of different things. Um, a lot of them are Orton Gillingham approved, which is a specific type of uh, method when you are working with students who are struggling readers. What's different for distance learning? We're gonna meet in our Google Meets. Reading Lab students will meet Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday. Students who need ELD will be meeting on Wednesdays. If your child can come to the meeting, all of their work will be done at that time. If they can't, then everything will be posted to Google Classroom the next morning. Since our groups end at three o'clock, I won't have time to really post everything um, until the next morning, so just be aware of that. They can complete their video, their assignments through the videos. Typically we assess twice, um, usually we assess three times a year. This year I am hoping that we will get to test twice a year, all 600 plus students to see who has the need, who has needs and what those needs are. And then every three weeks or so within the reading lab, we assess the reading lab students to monitor their growth and make sure they're making progress in what skills we're reaching with them. Student scores on their progress reports will be sent home 
after their test is complete. Now this does depend on in-person uh, instruction because these assessments are done one-on-one -on -one in person. So I am not gonna be able to test all 600 plus students at the beginning of the year like we typically do. And I'm working on ways to get some assessments done on my reading lab students. Um, it's just a little different when we're doing things distance. How do you get a hold of me? The easiest way is to email me. I check my email often and I will respond back. If you'd like to call, I have office hours from 9 to 1030 in the morning. And the number is the, there. Mr. Lopez, who is our Spanish um, our translator, he also has office hours from 9 to 1030 as well. There is a tab on all the grade level Google sites with Reading Lab and ELD. We, I have lots of different activities and websites that you can do at home. They are not required. Please make sure that you've registered on ARIES. You filled out the student compact form. And thank you so much for watching the video.